Welcome to how to add a URL link to an incident email template to take staff directly to the incident in the Remedy Force console. It requires updating the email template. There's some things to consider. Number one, the link will work with any process that uses a Salesforce email alert with HTML template. Second, the user will be required to log in if not already logged into Salesforce or Remedy Force. When the user clicks the link in email, the email client will direct them to its default browser. And if they're not already logged in in that browser, they'll be prompted to enter their credentials. Once they enter their credentials, then the user will be taken directly to the console in the link. This is a security feature and part of Salesforce. Third, the URL in the email template can be applied to other modules, uh, tasks, change requests, and problem, simply by replacing the API names in the URL. If you'd like to see the full URLs, go to the communities.bmc.com forward slash docs forward slash doc dash 71755. Let's look at how to add the URL. So what we're talking about is when a user creates an incident from the Remedy Force console and they receive some email notification or uh, someone assigns them a record from the Remedy Force console and they receive an email notification. Let's look at a workflow that sends an email alert and then we'll modify the email template associated with that email alert. So the one we're using for today is notify client when an incident is created and it has the associated email alert notify client when an incident is created which then is configured to use the template uh, JD incident email template version 2 which is a cloned copy of the manage package template incident email template 1 version 2.0 when modifying templates it's better to make a copy and modify the copy so if something messes up you have a way to go back an alternate way to get to the template is to just go to communication templates, uh, classic email templates, scroll down to the template. Once the template's open, click Edit HTML Version. And then in this template, I have a section created. Notice we added an additional BR forward slash, which is a carriage return. And then we set the headers. Uh, for the text that I've added and links that I've added uh, to bold and between each one just for convenience we added a BR forward slash so the exact URL there are three different types of URL you can add if you're not using a domain you'll need to get your Salesforce instance in this case uh, this URL is on NA14 well you'll notice I'm on NA30 so I'll need to change that instance to NA30. And then the rest of the URL uh, is right here. Now, if you're using a domain link, uh, you'll put the company name instead of the Salesforce instance. And it'll be company domain. I don't have a domain configured. And then dash dash and then the rest of the URL. And then if you're using the Salesforce My Domain feature, you notice the MySalesforce.com when you log in, if you look in your URL, it'll be up here. You put company name.my.salesforce.com. And so then save. And we can send a test email. And it doesn't always match exactly, so it's better to look at the email, but we'll go ahead and send one. Select the incident object and then click OK. In a minute, you'll receive an email and then you'll be presented with what it looks like. And this is an approximation, not actually the way it looks. I have received the email. We go look at this email. see that each of the links goes directly to um, the incident. 
recall what we mentioned about the email client and the default browser. So if I copy and paste this link into Chrome, which is what I happen to be logged in in, if I copy and paste it, it will take me directly to the incident. However, if I click the link, since my mail client is using Internet Explorer and I'm not logged into Internet Explorer, I'll be prompted with credentials and it'll be necessary to log in. And once logged in, I'll be taken to the incident. Now that I'm logged into the default browser used by the email client, if I go back to my email and double click the link, I'll be taken directly to the record without having to log in. This concludes how to add a URL link to an incident email template to take staff directly to the incident in the Remedy Force console.